it's time for another one of my Shauna shortcuts. And as promised, I'm going to share with you my favorite shortcut for math using the abacus. Believe it or not, there are many ways to use this cool math toy. Since I like to keep my videos short, I'm going to go step by step, focusing on just one shortcut in each video as I build the series on the abacus. So you may want to hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on any of these steps because learning these steps in order makes it much easier to understand how this great shortcut, the abacus, works. And the first step is using the abacus to teach our kids how to count. So even if your child is as young as two, I think it's a great time to buy an abacus. I like this one by Melissa and Doug because it's very colorful, yet each row is one solid color. Also, it only costs about $10 on Amazon, which isn't too bad for an educational toy that your kids are going to use all the way through kindergarten. When your kids get to first grade, I prefer this abacus, but I'll talk about that later in another video. Right now, I'm going to share with you how to use this abacus to teach your kids how to count. If you notice, each row has 10 beads. So no matter which row we pick, we can count together all the way to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what's great, you can also teach colors while you're also teaching your kids how to count. So for example, I might say, let's count the green row. And then my little one might want to say, let's count the yellow row, and so on and so forth. The more times we count these rows, the sooner your child is going to be able to count to ten all by themselves. Pretty neat. And once your child counts to 10, you can use two rows to count to 20. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And when you learn how to count on an abacus, your kids will soon realize that the first nine numbers are repeated and the 10th bead introduces a new number name like 20, 30, 40, and so forth. And that's where we're going to stop because I think it's easier for your kids to learn to count to 100 when they're also learning to count by tens, which is what we're going to cover in part two of my series on the abacus. So again, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these steps. And please kindly give my video a thumbs up. When you like my videos, it shows parents that these shortcuts work. And maybe share this link with your friends. Together, we can make math easier for everyone. Thanks so much for watching and happy learning.